My coverage of CES 2018 from Las Vegas, Nevada is brought to you by Cooler Master, Enermax, OCZ Toshiba, and Deep Cool. How's it going, guys? I've made my way over to Deep Cool. We're at a suite here in Caesars Palace. It's, it's very nice. And Deep Cool actually has several custom special edition products that they are showcasing. Uh, the Quad Stellar Smart Case, the Arc 90, as well as a special edition of their Deep Cool Captain. Um, they're all sort of an orange and silver color combination, and they all have this tempered glass uh, electro reflective uh, panels on, on all the sides. It actually looks really cool. So let's start off uh, with a look at the ARC-90, which is right over here. Now the ARC-90 has actually been out already, so you might be familiar with it. Um, if you're interested in pricing, the ARC-90 uh, by default costs about $300, and this special edition is 200 bucks more, so it's going to run you $500, uh, but you do get a very uniquely designed chassis, which has tempered glass, as you can see, on the left side top as well as the front. On the opposite side over here, it's got a orange finish. And you might notice inside, when you look at the fan layout, uh, it comes included with a 120 millimeter fan as well as three 140 millimeter fans. The 340 millimeter fans are also connected to a deep cool captain uh, liquid cooler, and it actually ejects the heat out the opposite side of the case. And there's a couple ventilation spaces over there in order to allow that heat to come out. Internally, there is a ton of space in here, so this is a very, very well-suited case for water cooling configuration or something along those lines. Uh, tons of locations for mounting SSDs as well as additional cooling if you want to. And although it is fairly enclosed on the, the top, front, and side, there is <coughs> ventilation area in the bottom as well as across the front. It's got a distinctive looking uh, LED ha uh, accent highlight that goes across the top as well as down the front and the liquid actually flows through this front tube and there's also a little flow indicator that's right down there at the bottom. Very distinct looking with this orange and silver accent finish for the special edition here. And once again, $500 is what this one will cost you. But uh, I imagine there's a few people who really like orange who are gonna be into that. Now the quad stellar case is one that we've actually shown you before. You might've seen this at our Computex coverage. And this one, they've made even fancier. So this one, uh, the, the quad stellar by default is gonna run you about $400. This one is 200 bucks more. It's gonna run you at about 600. But you're getting a massive case with tons of cool functionality. If you're looking at just the basic PC building functionality, you've got nine uh, drive bays that are up at the top. You can actually just pop those out. And those of course will support 3.5 inch or 2.5. 2.5 inch drives. And then on the opposite side, you can see where the motherboard tray goes in down at the bottom. There's a PCIe extension riser card that will allow you to put your GPU up in the top right quadrant of the case. And that's a basic uh, design idea that they had with Quad Still originally was to separate all your components out into different areas of the case so you have separate cooling chambers for all of those. Now for the special edition, of course, we have orange accents, both internally as well as externally. Uh, it's got a steel frame and then aluminum finish around these uh, external parts here. So a really nice clean look on those and then of course more of those tempered glass uh, electro reflective panels on all sides which uh, looks really cool but it's also very difficult to, to get footage of all the time. Now it's got a unique feature in that these four front panels here on this version are motorized and in fact there is an app you can use it is called Quad Stellar and you can use that to uh, handle the motorization of those four panels to manually make them pop out or go back in. Or you can just have it monitor the uh, actual temperature of your system and open or close those as necessary as your uh, system heats up. There are also lighting effects that you can control with that app. So uh, the front panel here will light up and change into various colors, of course, depending on what you choose there. And then finally, of course, you do have the uh, temperature monitoring via the app as well. So uh, that's pretty cool. You can use that, of course, to control the fan speeds. So if you want the fans to be quieter or louder, if you need more cooling, you have plenty of options there. So the Quad Stellar was already an extremely unique and innovative case from Deepcool. And this version of it just looks absolutely stunning. Um, on, I imagine for folks with deep pockets, and again, who really like the color scheme of the orange with the silver accents are gonna be really into this. Next up is the Special Edition Captain 240EX RGB. So we're maintaining RGB LED lighting in the pump block unit that's down at the bottom. But of course you can see this one's finished in, again, the silver and orange color scheme. Now you might notice uh, the fan blades on this one are actually uh, one, one spinning and one's not. That's by design. They specifically set that up so you could take a look at the fan blades uh, when they're not spinning because they're a dual fan blade design that Decool made up themselves. And as you can see, they've also got orange blade, orange uh, fan blades 
on the fans as well as uh, orange accent corners. Uh, there's orange sleeving on the tubing going down to the pump block unit itself. And the unique thing about this is this is apparently, at least for now, the only way that you can get a deep cool bracket adapter for TR4. So if you want to put a deep cool Captain 240EX onto a Threadripper build, you're gonna need to get this one specifically because this custom made bracket that they did at the bottom is only gonna be available with this specific unit. Uh, there's no change to the pump and block at all. They said they're getting adequate cooling out of that with the existing design, um, but it is nice that you can now have some Threadripper compatibility there as well. Speaking of Threadripper compatibility, here is Fryzen, the final item that we're gonna take a look at today. This is an air cooler, and this is specifically de designed for AMD sockets. So it will work with uh, Threadripper TR4, and it will also work with uh, Ryzen CPUs if you're on AM4. And it comes with brackets that are available for both of those. Uh, it's an air cooler design. It's of course got RGB LED lighting as well uh, on the V or the X-shaped bracket that's across the fan as well as across the top of the cooler itself. Uh, it looks like you got six six millimeter heat pipes down there at the bottom, helping to efficiently move uh, heat from the uh, copper cold plate down at the bottom up into the fin array. And this is a custom designed uh, cold plate on there. So it is a bit larger to give you more contact area uh, if you're working with a Threadripper build. Also real quickly wanted to mention the price uh, with the Captain 240EX. Uh, if you buy this, the, the normal version of this, it's $110. This special edition is 30 bucks more. $140 is what that will cost you. And then for the Fryzen over here, that is gonna be $79.99 or $80. Uh, and hopefully we can get a, an idea of the performance of this because I really like air coolers and um, it's nice to have more options, especially for Threadripper. But guys, that's gonna wrap it up for my coverage here at the Deep Cool Suite from CES 2018. Of course, a huge thank you to my sponsors, Deep Cool, of course, as well as Cooler Master, Enermax, and OCZ Toshiba. Stay tuned for more coverage from Las Vegas, Nevada. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, of course, and there's more available in the uh, playlist down below. So check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.